Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tara's Fragranced World. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome if you are new, and if you are not new, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, for today's video, I have my Dessa's Homespun Scents pre-order. So I did. I ordered this on June 17th, I think was her pre-order, and I just got it in the mail last week, so that would have been like, I think it was like August 15th or something, so it was right around the two-month mark. So I love Dessa's. Dessa has become a love of mine since I started ordering from her I think it was like late last year and she has quickly become one of my favorite vendors and I think I had participated in her last like three pre-orders so I think I need to slow down a little bit I know she has another one coming up on September 2nd so I'm gonna try to sit this one out but who knows <laughs> so let's just get started so she does give a little sample bag here which does have a thank you card with some instructions on the back and then her business card as well and then she also put in a handwritten note it says thank you tara happy melting dessa which is so sweet and she put in three samples so the first sample here I have is Gingerbread House. Yes. And it's just straight gingerbread. Really good. It's a really strong gingerbread. Mm. That is gonna be really good for the holidays. Next, I have Haunted Pumpkin Shack which I love the little black and orange rose. So cute. Mm. I don't know the scent notes, but definitely has pumpkin in it. Mm. It's just a nice, creamy, slightly spicy pumpkin, but that is really good. And then the last sample here, is cranberry orange chiffon cake. Mm. I'm not a huge fan of orange and wax, but it's not super strong on orange. I do get a mix of both the orange and the cranberry. So we'll just have to see how that does on more. So those are my samples. And then let's just get into it. I got a mix of tiles, uh, breakaway bars, and I did get one of her seasonal souffles that she decorates. So we'll just start off with that one since I only have the one. And this one's called I Put a Spell on You, which is Cider Lane, Cinnamon Rolls, Vanilla Frosting, and Sweet Candy Corn Bits. And let me just take out this souffle so I can show you how adorable it is. She's got like a little potion bottle and a little, it's a little cauldron. So cute. And this smells so good. You do get the cider lane. I get a hint of the cinnamon rolls. The vanilla frosting creams it all together. I don't know if I get really candy corn, but it really is just a nice sweet cider lane and cinnamon rolls. But the cinnamon rolls are sweet because it's not spicy at all. But that is really good. Can't wait to, I hate to have to chop it up because it's so cute, but I will definitely be melting that this fall. So that was I Put a Spell on You. And then next we'll do the tiles. I got Haunted Carnival, which is fried apple fritters, cinnamon sugar churros, buttery pretzel, and gooey caramel apples. This is a reformulated house blend. Was the other one? Yes, the I Put a Spell on You was also a house blend. And this one is really good. So her tiles replaced what she, she used to have the baby cakes and the tiles replaced that. So I usually just cut these right into four and they're only like 250. 
So it's pretty reasonable, especially to try out scents that you think that you might not like. And this, you definitely get the fried apple fritters, the cinnamon sugar. I do get a hint of the buttery pretzels. I don't get too much of the caramel apples, but I'm sure that'll come alive on warm. But the fried apple fritters is delicious. This is gonna be so good. Beautiful fall scent. So that is Haunted Carnival. Next is Bonfire of the Pumpkin. Toasted pumpkin, roasted marshmallows, and smoky firewood. This one is also a house blend. In this, you get the smoky firewood first. If you're not a smoky person, I would stay away from this one because that's what I get the most is the firewood. And then I do get the toasted pumpkin. I'm not getting too much marshmallow, but that smoky firewood is definitely strong. So if you're a fan of smoky scents, I highly recommend that you try this one. So that is Bonfire of the Pumpkin. Next is spiced apple peach pie. Spiced apples, peaches, pie crust, cinnamon sugar. This is also a house blend. This one, I'm not sure about. Um, I've never really tried peach too much in wax. And this is like one of like, maybe like the second scent that I've had that had peach in it. And honestly, I don't really, I don't think I care for peach. That's all I get is peaches from this though. I don't get any spiced apples. I don't get any pie crust. I maybe get like a slight hint of cinnamon sugar, but it's basically just peach heavy. So if you like peach, I would recommend this one. So that is spiced apple peach pie. Next up is pumpkin to talk about. Creamy pumpkin filling, buttery pie crust. There are no spices in this blend. So this is another house blend. Mm. And she's right, there is no spice in this. This is just really creamy pumpkin. I do get a buttery note from it but it's really just basic, creamy, heavy pumpkin. I think this is gonna be really good on warm. So that is pumpkin to talk about. Next is Ye Old Witch House, a haunting blend of our vanilla voodoo, sweet cinnamon streusel, toasted marshmallows, and bonfire bliss. This is also another house blend. This one, I wish I would have gotten a breakaway bar. This one is so good. I love her vanilla voodoo. I can't remember exactly what's in it, but I've had other blends that have vanilla voodoo in it, and it is so good. You get the cinnamon streusel, and it's a sweet cinnamon streusel too. It's not a spicy one. And you do get the bonfire bliss. Mm. This one's really good. If I see this offered again, I would definitely pick it up in a bigger size. So this is Ye Old Witch House. And then the last tile I have here is called Apple Barn, which is Granny Smith apples, Macintosh apples, fall leaves, oak barrel, and barn wood. This is also a house blend. And this is another one I wish I would have gotten a larger size. Mm. It is just a beautiful, Mac apple. I don't really get Granny Smith apple. I get Mac apple with the oak barrel and the barn wood. And it's just, it is such a fresh apple. I just, oh, this one is so good. So, so good. If you love apple scents, I highly recommend this one. I think Charity likes this one. And when I watched one of her Dessa's videos before I put this on my list to try the next time it was available. So that is Apple Barn. So next we'll go into breakaway bars, which I got five breakaway bars this time. 
The first one here is Blackberry Buckle, which is buttery cake batter and sweet blackberries. She has a really good blackberry. And you do get that buttery cake batter. This is really good. It's a nice, sweet, buttery blackberry. Mm. I would definitely pick this up again if she offers it. So good. And I love her breakaway bars. They're pretty much just like bougie bars from L3. But that's what they look like. And you just break off a piece and put it in your warmer. It's just so convenient. Mm. But that is really good. She has a really good blackberry. So that is Blackberry Buckle. Next is Palo Sugared Streusel. Palo Santo Sweet Cinnamon Streusel Powdered Donuts. Powdered Sugar Donuts. And that is also a house blend. Did I say the other one? The other one was a house blend too, yes. Mm. This is Palo Santo Goodness. Mm. You get the Palo Santo first and foremost. Then you do get that sweet cinnamon streusel. Slight, slight hint of the powdered sugar donuts, but it's definitely Palo Santo heavy. And I love it. It's Palo Santo bakery goodness. Oh, cannot wait to warm that one. So that is Palo sugared streusel. Next up is my beloved apple crumble. Oh. This is baked apples, cinnamon, sugar, nutmeg, buttery crumble, and whipped cream. This is so good. So, so good. I can't even like describe it. It is just this beautiful baked apple with that, the buttery crumble. I melted this the, again the other night and I just, oh my God. It is so, so good. I highly recommend this if you love apple bakery scents. I pick this up every time she offers it. I think this is my third breakaway bar that I have. This is my second full one, and then I think I had three cubes left of my other one, but oh. so that is apple crumble, and I will continue to purchase this every time she offers it. Uh, next is marshmallow fireside type, which is toasted marshmallow smoldering woods and fire roasted vanilla. I wanted to get Marshmallow Fireside on its own because I don't think I've had it on its own from any vendor. I think it's always just been in blends and the Marshmallow Fireside candle from Bath & Body Works is my all-time favorite candle. So like I just wanted to have it on its own so that way I can melt it while I'm burning the candle this year. And it smells spot on to Bath & Body Works. Mm, you get the toasted marshmallow, the fire roasted vanilla, and that slight smokiness. It is so good. I love Marshmallow Fireside. Mm. That is just a fall staple in my house. So that is Marshmallow Fireside. And then lastly, we have Cinnabon, which is doughy center of a cinnamon roll with cream cheese frosting. And this is a house blend. And the Marshmallow Fireside, nope, that was not a house blend. That's just the dupe. So cinnamon bun, I grabbed this because everybody on YouTube was hyping this up and I didn't think that I had it, but I actually ordered it in the tile in the pre-order previous to this and didn't remember that I ordered it. So, but this is good. To me though, it says the doughy center of a cinnamon roll, which I guess is true, but I get a slightly spicy cinnamon from this. I don't really get a sweet cinnamon, even though there's like the cream cheese frosting. But this leans almost like spicy cinnamon to me. So hopefully that goes away on warm. So that again is Cinnabon. And that is all I got from Dessa's this time. So if you participated in this pre-order, please let me know down below what you got and what your favorites were. Please also let me know if you plan on participating in her pre-order that's coming up on September 2nd. I believe it's a Saturday. 
and I know I think she's calling it the falling into Christmas pre-order so it's supposed to be a, a mix of fall scents and Christmas slash winter scents so I'm gonna try to stay away from the website I'm gonna try to not look at the list I'm gonna do my best but I don't know though because she has just become such a favorite of mine I hate to like miss an opening especially since she only opens a couple times a year I think it's like maybe four times a year max that she opens up so i hate to miss a pre-order but i do have a lot of wax that i've accumulated from her you know so i would like to focus on working on that so yes once again if you participated in the pre-order let me know what you got down below let me know what your favorites were and if you enjoyed this video please uh like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in my next one bye